Hey guys, our podcast live finale tickets are still on sale. I think we're about 60% sold out. We haven't gone completely public yet. We've only let our website members um, and our, you guys know about it. Um, and the link is in the description for those wondering where to get tickets. The link will be in the description. Um, it's $40 Australian. It gets you the show. Will and Powerfish is coming and we all go to a bar after and get um, drunk. So... I think by the time this video comes out, we will just be about to go public and do like main feed posts to just get rid of the rest of the tickets. So um, we obviously prefer actual podcast fans to get there first because you guys know what the deal is. So um, yeah, check the link in the description and come and have a few beers with us if you feel like it. We'll also have merch there and the whole Mighty Michael crew will be there. Anyway, let's get into the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode number 32 of our podcast Hello. It's probably going to be um, a different kind of podcast today um, we're, we're a bit down and down in the dumps um, As I'm sure most of you heard last week um, Poor old Bozzy passed and then um, over the weekend we had Michael's Bucks, which was a nice distraction. But um, yeah, we're all a bit fucked now. It's all just kind of I don't know hitting me. But yeah, um, yeah. So last Tuesday, just came home from the gym, and when Bozzy was I only left him like well, Mon was home, but he was just outside. I came home and he didn't greet me at the door like he usually does. So I ran outside and saw him kind of like lying in the bushes and called to him and he was just, yeah, wasn't really able to walk and was just stumbling around. So I knew that his heart had bled again. So he kind of stumbled out of the bushes and just fell into my arms and and then I took him to um, emergency, just kind of hoping that they would be able to drain his heart again and that he'd be, you know, okay for a few more weeks again. But, um, yeah, I got in there and then I handed him to the vet and, um, you know, within that, you know, they made me sign this thing saying I'll try and resuscitate him if he goes into cardiac arrest and... Uh, yeah, as soon as I handed him off, within three minutes, like, the vet came out to talk to me, and then as she was talking to me, one of the nurses ran in and was like, you need to come right now, and then the nurse, the vet ran out of the room and came back, like, a minute later and, um, yeah, said that he'd passed. So, a truly, truly shocking and devastating day, that one. I'd probably go down as one of the most painful things I've ever been through and yeah I don't know it's hard to you know a lot of people like oh you know it's just a dog but I don't know Bozzy was he's not he wasn't like an outside dog he was there all the time was, you know whenever I was alone or away from humans Bozzy would still be there I was driving in my car Bozzy would be there he would sleep on our bed you know, and that was just a thing Mon had to put up with when we first started seeing each other. It was like, no, nah, Bosley sleeps on the bed. And, um, yeah, so he was very ingrained and very embedded in my life. And, um, yeah, it's a super, it's just a weird thing. And, and now just even just being at home is just fucked because everything just reminds me of him. Even just ordering Uber Eats when the Uber Eats driver's arriving. I expect to hear barking, but there's no barking. You know, come home, you expect to see him at the top of the stairs, wagging his tail, but I walk outside and look at his water bowl to make sure there's water in it, but there's no more water bowl. Just all these little habits and things that you just learn over 10 years and they're just, they're just a constant reminder. So it's not fun being at home at the moment. I just like to, yeah... I don't know, it's just rough. And then the Bucks was a good distraction, I guess, but it's just kind of worse because, you know, doing 
as you do bender on a box you, it does depress you already and then that coming home is just like it's just fucking double, double whammy yeah, double whammy holy shit <clears throat> but yeah um fucking hell I fucking miss that dog it's unbelievable yeah man so I'm gonna get him um cremated and yeah, it's just um, yeah, rougher than I ever thought it would be, to be honest. And I knew it would be rough, but fuck, man, it's been... Luckily, we have a week off now, and that was just pure coincidence now that we have a week off. So me and Michael are actually just going away for a few days. I'm going with Mon, and we're all meant to take Bolsey with us to this like dog-friendly Airbnb place, but just be us now, and... So we got a week off and then hopefully we'll be back to fucking somewhat normal this next week when we start back filming. But yeah, so as well, like we've mentioned before, it's one of the hardest things about this job is trying to be funny week in, week out, especially when you're not really in the mood to try and laugh or try and make people laugh. You know, you've got to be in a good mood to crack jokes Unfortunately today, um, yeah, I don't know. Well, let's just we're just gonna talk some shit, and I'm sorry if it's not what we usually do, and I'm sorry if you don't really get a good laugh out of it. But yeah, I'd rather just get at least a podcast out and just I don't know, see what happens, eh? Yeah. <clears throat> well, did you want to talk about funny stories with Bosley? Yeah, I guess we can. Yeah, man. There were some bloody rippers with Bozzy. The thing I loved the most about him was like the, just the communication I had with him. All I needed to do was like, by the end of it, because you live with a creature for 10 years, you're in the so many different scenarios that after a while you just kind of pick up on little things and then I just kind of knew what whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted it. Yeah, I remember whenever you'd, like, as soon as you'd show any sense of frustration, he'd run over and just start, like, licking your face. It was so weird, even, like, on the laptop, if, like, a video wasn't uploading to Facebook or, you know, editing wasn't working, program kept crashing. Like, I wouldn't even have to say anything by the end of it. I just literally would just start to feel a bit of anger or just even just a little bit of stress. And then he'd just get up from wherever he was and just come and put his paw on me and it would always just remind me like oh it's really not so bad so I hope that I don't lose that now and just fucking smash the laptop yeah <laughs> oh dude well I guess like yeah I guess the pro of it is it makes you the people around you that are still in your life you gotta cherish them even more so yeah, man, I just wish I didn't get my hopes up because fuck, I did when he was like, yeah, I was started five to, weeks. I was like, fuck, here we go. I started to think he was invincible. I was like, fuck, they've misdiagnosed him or like, oh, yeah, I knew it was risky and it was just as devastating the second time and man, I just decided to be at home at the moment. Yeah, fuck, man. I wish... I wish we could bring him back. Yeah, same. One advantage is there's fucking countless hours of video footage of him. Yeah, I've been watching all of that, but man, I just can't fuck up. Never. Yeah, I just can't get my shit together watching that stuff at the moment. Yeah, but thank you everyone for all the. Um, it's been a little, you know a huge out outpour of um, lovely messages and stuff. So really appreciate all that and. So many people have just, you know, we've been making videos for what, fucking seven, eight years now. So he's nearly been on camera his whole life as well. So a lot of our OG fans kind of watched us grow up with him. And, you know, me and Michael were early on when we were dirt poor. We'd literally living, we had living and staying in one bedroom on a mattress, us two in Bosley. Fucking. Yeah, I remember one at one point you had to move out into an apartment that didn't allow dogs, so he'd live with me. Yeah, he'd always just yeah, he was always around. Yeah, so it's just he's you know all the toughest times 
and it was always there. I remember even just like so poor, trying hadn't we hadn't eaten all day, and then like I had to get dog food, so I just find just scrape the bottom of the car and just find some coins, and then go and buy him some dog dog food. Oh man, just fucking so so much more devastating than I ever thought it would be. I'm never ever getting a dog again in my fucking life. They're just emotional time bombs. Even as 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 in high school and shit, like not so much when I moved to Brizzy, but like like Cassie had a dog. You know, friends had dogs, so whenever we'd stay at their houses, I always just was obsessed with their dogs and would always sleep with their family dogs and everyone would always say like fuck when you get your own dog you're going to be so grossly obsessed with it and that's exactly what happened yeah but yeah if you just look at him he wasn't like a normal dog yeah, he was definitely made for Marty wasn't he mm. yeah he's such a perfect perfect dog so what's the point of ever trying again yeah well yeah, I've yeah, all the dogs I've come across, he's definitely, you know, he's one of a kind. But yeah, like even my own dog when I had a dog, I just sort of got over taking it for walks. But Bosley you just sort of and I think treat it's, as like a dog. I think it's different too when it's your a dog is an adult because I was solely in he was solely in my care. Like as a kid, you know, you got your parents there to pay for food and to help take him for walks and all that shit if you know because you're a kid you don't really prioritize something else but taking him as an adult he really teaches you complete and utter selflessness because yeah I would have fucking done anything for him yeah it was every single day you'd take him for like a half hour walk at least and and yeah by the end of it I was just buying him human quality meat and would have paid fucking Whatever it costs to keep feeding him, right? wasn't it what one fifty a week just on his food? Yeah, just for meat on him. Probably that's that great. One. That's like people's rent. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, fuck. So um, yeah, he'll he'll, he'll still be where a long way ahead in um, especially on website videos. So if website members, you'll probably still see him in videos for like the next two months, just because he's you know usually in the background or something. So, um, yeah, if you're confused as to why, it's just because we're ahead on content. I've already seen a video on social media pop out with him in it and everyone's like, oh, I thought he had passed, but that's why we don't just film and then post immediately. We get ahead so that we can have weeks off. So, um, yeah, that's why. But anyway. Um, have a bong, everybody. Yeah, that's all have a bong break. Just going to have a quick break. Alright guys, sponsors. Now, we may be feeling pretty low, but one thing that has helped us bit a little bit is AG1. AG1 has all your vital minerals and health things that you need in one concoction. You can have them once a day and then it keeps the doctor away. It's green. It's Joe Rogan promotes it. That's pretty cool. All right now, the dude who's done it, he's been sick before and now he's good. It's the only drink that I've ever had where it's like, oh, I actually feel better from it for a little bit. And then, yeah. But drink AG1, it keeps you healthier. If you do too many drugs, like we have done recently, it makes you feel a bit better. So. Get AG1, use our discount code, fully actual 20. Fully actual, just fully actual. Fully actual, uh, <laughs> use fully actual, and then you get it sent out once a month, and it just keeps you good, okay? Link in the description, just go and have a look, guys. Um, Yeah. Moving on to our next sponsor, we have Manscaped. This time, it's just for men. So if you're a man... Use our code and shave all your hair off. It's fully actual 20. Basically, I use it. I shave my balls once a month. And 
it's the easiest way to do it. Matt, have you been shaving your balls? Yep. All right. You can get there's all these other things like little potions, aftershave, colognes, ball wipes. It's it's really good. And the yeah. shaver comes with a little white clip in that doesn't nick you. Yeah, there's a the light. Best bit about it. And there's a light. a light as well, so you can do it anywhere. If you yeah, if, in your car, if you're just before going on a date and you're like, fuck, I forgot to shave my balls. Take it in your car, and you can do it in the car while you're driving. You could do and it at the park in the dark if you want. Yeah, park in the dark anywhere you want because it's got a light. So it's just good to always carry one. So go use our code fully actual twenty, and this time it's just for men. We're also mother energy drink ambassadors. So if you want fucking drink mother because they're helping us. And that's not just for mothers. That's for everyone. Anyone can drink mother, <clears throat> and they sponsor the pod. They they sort of. Well, they sponsor us now. Yeah, and yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're ambassadors of Mother. Yep. Yeah, so check this out. Look how much Mother's we drink. All right, that's um, sponsors. Uh, and also our, uni- our University of Marker website, guys, where we post weekly videos. Not only us now, we have two other content creators who also post weekly videos. So you get three fucking shocking new videos every single week. We're constantly trying to improve the website too, so um, you can comment now. Um, we're working on, and we're very open to feedback. So if you're on our website and you have a suggestion or trying to make the functionality better, please just let us know on DM or posting in our Facebook group, or just yeah, just just reach out to us because we all want to make it as good as possible. Um, but yeah, 21 day free trial out now. Right now is the fucking. Oh, uh, the activity day vlog got posted. I saw it's getting quite a reaction in the on the website. There's um a few very shocked people about from our stand up. Oh, were they offended? A f- no, but a few people were saying it was like funny, the funniest video that they've ever seen. Oh wow! Especially well, the you spraying shit on um Julian's car. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people gave it ten out of ten, but then there were also a small percentage of people who were. Just completely and utterly shocked at the things that were said. Yeah, well, remember it's stand up comedy, so it's not real, but we did say some but things, things that could probably cancel us, but I don't give a fuck. But we just, you know, you're in that position, you panic. I'm sorry. It's it's not a normal situation. I never would have said any of those things if I had two seconds to prepare. But yeah. anyway, there's the old person home videos out there now too. We've spoken about that a few times. And um yeah, I just want to do fucking heroin. Man. I reckon if there was a day to do it, this would be the day. Um, I got a cold sore. Who? Yeah, it just popped as I was driving home yesterday, crying. It makes sense though. Popped up. Yeah. It's been it's a whole week up. of stress. I got a, my, I got two styes. That's what happens to me. I get styes. My blood pressure is like through the fucking roof again. Is styes come from stress? Yeah. Well, stress low, lowers the immune system. It's sort that's of like what, a cold sore on your it. eye, isn't it? Yeah. So what that I've put on like fucking seven kilos. I'm just a fucking piece of shit, and I just want to fucking finish it off. Yeah, well, look, we won't do that yet because it's got to get better. But um, do you guys want to see what happens if I blow my nose into my hand? Yeah. That's just blood. Yeah, we might have to just blow that. Yeah, you can do. Please, please don't start this. Oh my god. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Anyway, let's talk about. Oh, I might yuck. wash my hand on that one. That's not on. Dude, Sorry that's about constant, that, everyone. Just constantly, it's just dripping out. Oh man, regret. Lux was fun. I'd, to be honest, though, I'd been fucking drinking a lot and just being a sick fuck even a few days before the box it's because bosley had died and i was just like spiraling so i was already on like a three-day bender come and the day before your box we went to aussie world it's like a fucking weird theme park and we just vlogged it and that came yeah yeah, yeah. but it was sort of like hard to yeah it was a rough as you guys know, I think we got a bit unlucky because I think the either the general manager of the place or the owner—I I think he's the manager of the place. 
just happened to be walking into work as we were entering and he knew who you guys were and he was really lovely and, and gave us you know helped us out around the place but um but yeah i think that also put the spotlight on us straight away it's pretty fun like if you go there on a quiet day you can go on some pretty intense rides without zero wait time yeah and the food was pretty good so it's actually not too bad a place but yeah we had a few drinks there and then and then at the end of the day julian got kicked out which was pretty funny yeah he was uh he's being a naughty boy breaking the rules so that'll be on the website too um and guess what at aussie world They've got stickers oh in the gift shop. Did you? F of course. That's why you took so long. Yeah. So I went and spoke to the lovely lady at the desk. I think her name was Marjorie. And um, yeah, she got me a beautiful Aussie World sticker. We'll go on that. So I'll add that to the uh, the board, the uh, computer. Um, <laughs> I know it's not the right time for it, but... It's just... Is that a pink, that sticker? Is that a pink sticker originally? Oh, uh, yeah. So James Lee is... It's kind of James's fault. He stuck the sticker to the back originally, the first one. So if you want to put any, you know, hatred towards anyone, you might have to put it towards James. Put it on a bit crooked for everyone's OCD. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, the Bucks. And so yeah. we went to Aussie World and then Friday morning, the Bucks started with fucking golf. Yeah, that was the funnest part, I reckon. Golf is so good. I just got to say, too early. <sighs> too early. Playing? <laughs> I could get up at 5 a.m. and play golf. Well, we did for that other, that charity golf, and that was all right. But Man, I was so excited that I couldn't sleep on the Thursday night. I got to bed at like 12, woke up at 3 a.m., and then came here at 3.30 a.m. Because you wanted to play golf? Well, I was just so excited. Yeah, just so excited. It was like Christmas. The what was more exciting, Christmas. the Bucks or the golf? Be real. I think the golf was the funnest but like no no, no. what were you more excited drinking. about though oh probably not nah, the box is okay. you know you put them together it's like luxury but <laughs> yeah pay that, the toll after that, everyone well that first day it was like we said we, we started golf at what like eight mm. and then didn't get to bed until like 2 a.m that so that first day was just like really really long so it really kind of fucking i don't know, zapped everyone that's why everyone day two i reckon faded a bit earlier all the a lot of them yeah. the first day people faded yeah a lot of day one people would just like couldn't the day two was like just zapped from energy because even day two you started started like you know 10 9 30 10 a.m and then come like midnight you've been drinking for fucking like 14 hours straight so we played yeah. at capera golf club mm. which is very very nice capera golf club it's I've a lost very my five iron so if anyone's handed that in please <laughs> let me know <laughs> Um, I think James lost the club. No, it was a you. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's a very nice, well-respected golf club. We did all right, though. We did from, okay. Ooh, well, apart from Henry. And, Henry um, do something. And Ryan, yeah. Well, remember, they <laughs> slammed into Ryan. Into you were too Greg's far ahead to see it. So we were in oh, three yeah. teams. and um, But it was a genuine accident. He didn't mean to. But <laughs> being Henry, everyone just thought it was not intentional. Well... I do. It wasn't intentional, but it, it. I felt like it was still Henry because I believe Ryan was driving and Henry was accelerating for him. Yeah, Henry was using the pedals and Ryan was steering, and Henry didn't realize he had his foot on the. And they were doing reverse. Reverse. <laughs> oh wow! And all I remember is seeing them heading for the other cart, and um, and I hear Greg going, "No, no, boys, boys, boys!" and just went bang, and you saw the. The reaction of Greg panicking. <laughs> hey, Greg was really worried after that. But, yeah, but it was an accident. So yeah, but he kept him, he kept him in line. But yeah, oh, golf man. was good. And then um, you know, went to f went for lunch and started drinking margies and shit. And then came back to the brownery and um, I oh, Amber's dad was saying too that there's this medium that he goes to that he's been to because I'm pretty skeptical about that sort of stuff. But he was him and. Ollie were both like, no, he's this guy's like, because they tried to like trick him up and shit. And you just bring photos and put them upside down. You don't have to tell him your full name. So there's no possible way he can like look you up. Because, yeah, I was quite sus. But no, they were like, they'd thought of every concern that I had. And they were like, they gave some pretty incredible, um, you know, feed, like stories and stuff from each photo. And um, he said the dogs come through quite a lot, quite strongly. 
fuck. Well, there you go. So Are you considering number. that? I am considering it, but I don't know if it'd be too much right now. I think I'll just wait a while. Yeah, no, I'd heard of that uh, medium, and yeah, apparently it does sound legit, man. Um, well, fuck. Yeah, well, I reckon. Yeah, as I said before, you pay the toll on. It's borrowed fun. It's borrowed fun, and uh, to be honest, I don't think I can do that anymore ever. Like it's too hard. I'm too so too big, long days. Maybe like a. If we started at like 5 p.m. On, on a Friday and then go to like 2 a.m. on the Friday night and then on the Saturday. But it's kind of like, yeah, if you start in the morning and end in the morning on both days, that's when you run into troubles. But yeah, it was a lot of fun though. A lot, a lot of the boys came, fucking Paulie, Austin, um, you know, Jaden. All a couple of social social media boys, yeah, just shine, and then just all of our regular mates, and um, yeah, it was just a fucking great time. We surprised Michael. We really didn't want strippers, but we made him think there was a stripper coming. We and tied then it him was up. An old mate, George, yeah, and then we used to live with. We'd flown George in from Melbourne, who told Michael he couldn't come. It was a surprise. He was yeah, fuck me, that was good. And then. We yeah. should have done acid, I realise. Really? Yeah, I reckon. I reckon I would have ended it, dude. Do you I know our, our friend Emil bought 12 tabs of it? Yeah. There was a bit of acid going around and I regret not doing any because that's what I remember what at the end of mine. Stopped you drinking. That and also was just like everything was just fucking hilarious. Yeah. Whereas the stuff we were on, everyone was quite serious. But we did reminisce about some really old fucked up stories, which was fun. Yeah, we did have some laughs. God, we had some laughs. Oh, Michael just pissed wherever he was standing. Yeah, well, it wasn't so offensive this time. Well, I wouldn't I th- think you. I think you mapped out where you could do it without offending anyone. I don't yeah. think he thought about that at all. I really all. did. I really think he did. He didn't. <laughs> he didn't go for the for the cleaning products like vacuums, and he didn't go for anywhere in the living room that I saw. Well, I think he just realized like, he fucked pulling my yeah. pants down, so he just pissed while he was while, sitting. It just happened to be sitting on plastic chairs, which was good. Yeah, pissed on your own car a lot. Yeah, oh yeah, it's respectful. Yeah, I, I, yeah. No, I really, I really think you are very respectful. I think you're growing up. Yeah, maybe, maybe I am growing up, man. Thank you. Hmm. I got to sleep with Greg on the first night. Oh, that would have been so nice. What was it like? It was really nice. We just both because it was your old mattress, the one that we fucked. Yeah. So I was like. So uncomfortable because it sags in the middle. So Greg yeah, and I were bro- forced. It's, it's bodies so were sm- now. smooshed together all night. <laughs> Did you give him a little squeeze? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and then yeah. Michael Angus on the second night. So it was just yeah, they were nice. two sleeping buddies. He came and looked at my dick uh, in the next day. I think or that night. Who? Greg. Just yeah, he kept going around saying you have a massive dick to everyone. <laughs> He came in and like I was just drying myself after a shower, and he just looked at it and had a good. We had a, this weird connection going. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know what did. I just stood there and let him have a look. Matt kissed Henry a few times. Yeah, yeah I did kiss Henry. Uh, so and, and I was hoping other people would see it, but no one did. And then it was just a secret between us. Anyway, but yeah, fuck, man, it's all like. Yeah, you just, yeah, you pay the toll. It's an expensive fucking toll too. Oh, man, I'm like fucking, yeah, because Michael and I, we pay ourselves monthly. And I paid myself like for the month maybe like 10 days ago and I literally have no money left already. Whoa. It's the holiday, Bosley stuff, the barks, just all these big things at once. And I'm just like fully gone skis. What's the date? Did you uh, pay myself like like it's the eighteenth or, or something? Like probably like yeah, it was like ten days ago. Oh wow! Fuck. Like I even paid myself early. Yeah. So, Fucking hell. So yeah. Anyway, that's triple, why. triple whammy. But um, yeah, we're still we're still doing the giveaway on the website. We've announced one winner. So if you sign up to the website, you're in the running to win. One of five of twenty thousand dollars, you could win twenty grand. We're doing for giveaway and five grand lots, so that's still going. That should still be going for another week when this is out. So fucking get in there and get get some of our money. Yeah, fucking 
Yeah, and look, 21 days free. Should we, let's, let, that'll be a nice thing to do. Why don't we call, because Addy's sent through um, some of the winners. Why don't we call one and tell them that um, they've won on the podcast. That'll make us feel good, like we're a bank or something. Yeah. We can be bankers. Exactly. All right. We're going to try this lady, Stephanie. Hello. Hello. Is this, uh, am I speaking with Steph? Uh, <laughs> uh, this is this is her partner, Darian, yes. Um, uh, the, 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 when we were overseas, we changed the numbers. But yes, um, Stephanie's partner. Well, we're calling to let you guys know that you've won $5,000. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. She'll be absolutely ecstatic. She's been waiting for this phone call for a couple of weeks now since we've been um, overseas. Uh, that's awesome. Thank you guys so much. What are you guys going to do with the money? Well, she's got a she's got a bunch of car crap she's got to pay off. <laughs> then she's then she'll uh, then she's got to tax and then she'll spoil herself. I think she'll keep maybe a grand to herself or something. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So no, she's responsible, but she's um. No, it'll help her out so much. I promise you. Oh well, I'm glad we could help out, and really thank you guys a lot for the support. I can see you guys are platinum members. So. Yeah. 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 And it's rare to have a go watch our videos to be honest because yeah, wow. they're oh, fucking disgusting. You guys must do some <laughs> freaky shit in the bedroom if she's okay with watching us and our videos. <laughs> to be honest, we've been together for just over five years, and she was the one that introduced introduced me to uh, me to you. So um, you to me. So it was um, she loves it from, from you know a couple of years ago. She's like, you have to watch these the funniest fuckers ever. So oh, now nah, she loves awesome. it. Oh, well, yeah. really glad to hear it, mate. Well, we'll get you paid. Um, we're just in the middle of the podcast, but give me like an yeah. hour and I'll transfer that money and then boom, 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 baby. No worries. Sir. All right. Thanks again for the support, man, and enjoy the cash, eh? Thank you, Steph. Help! Help me! <laughs> Hello? Lost lost him. Help me! Thank you, Stephanie. Don't think. Sorry. It was a strange end to that. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting end. <laughs> Should we call another one? <laughs> and Stephanie sounded like a dude. Yeah. It was a dude. So oh. there you go. Another winner um, down the hatch. And um, yeah, you could ha- you could buy heroin with it. Oh. Yeah, I was so tempted to tell him, no, nah, I don't know. Pardon? I want to know. I want to know. Do you guys agree that... Your sense of smell is different after using drug? a certain drug, and your shit smell different. Yeah, just because your noses are blocked and because fucking chemicals put trash in your body. Trash. Okay, I've really noticed the shits, but I feel like my sense of smell has died over the years. Mm. Anyway, yeah, it was a bit rough on the old sinuses weekend, wasn't it? <laughs> um, this one's come from. England, I think, from a guy named Oscar. Oscar in England. And he's addressed it to Matt Brown's big, shiny, bald head. Oh, Oh my God. I love this. Yuck. What is it? You've got a thousand stickers. No way. 500 Moana stickers and 500 Spider-Man stickers. Over 30 pages of fun Spider-Man. No fucking way. So many stickers, dude. Look at all those stickers. Oh, yeah. Pages and pages of fucking stickers. Spider-Man. That's fucking gross. That's one of the (laughs) most thoughtful but also most fucking disgusting things we've ever been Who sent sent that? Thank you. I didn't have a look. Oh, they didn't even put their name on it. They just sent oh, it out of the pure that's, love. That's they're even shit up because they say that it's five hundred stickers, but they're just like real tiny. the tiniest stickers. Like, look at that. There are some good sized ones though. I don't care. That means the world to me. That's a that's a you got to the next stickers for the next thousand podcasts. Yeah, but there, that's I feel that's personal. That's like a million years worth. I might I might put one from each book on, but like the rest will go to my personal collection. Oh man, that is so good. Thank you. Oh Michael's destroyed. Michael! <laughs> someone did someone bought that out of love. Don't 
I'm sorry, dude. Stop that. I'm sorry. Someone went out of their way to bring that to us. I half regret Maybe it. they wanted us to do that to it. Oh, it. no. They didn't say anything to not destroy it. Maybe they wanted us to send something nice. Oh, well. Oh, I half fuck. regret it, and I'm sort of sorry. <laughs> That's sick. You still got that oh, one. Yeah, I'm keeping this one. Stay it. It's fucking keep your fucking Spider-Man. rat claws off it. Oh, all right. This I think I know what this is going to be, but we'll just go for it anyway, right? What is it, hair? Well, it's got to be, right? If they're addressing it to my bald head. You've oh, got true. By yeah. the way, I do cut my you've hair, got, so it's not really bald. Matt, come you've on. Got if you two. didn't cut it, you'd look fucking ridiculous. Cause, yeah, I know. What? And, oh, shit. Okay, just out of curiosity, it's got a custom declaration sticker on it. What does that mean? Which Does that mean customs opened it up? And well, ma- no, maybe they declared it to customs and said, "Here is my pubic hair." Oh, it's so yeah. sickening when you get it. <laughs> there it is in a little saddy no, bag. It's confirmed, all. guys, that we have a bag of pubic hair. To, uh, <laughs> oh uh, no! Uh, to the pile, which we will be glowing to Matt Brown's head on the season finale, the live show. Tickets are in the description. If you oh, want to see okay. That. So, um, what so the gentleman who sent us the cardboard cutout of you guys remember that? Um, it's actually just behind there it is there um, I think it's this is him so hey boys hope you like the cardboard cutout um, here's some hair for the for the box with love and hugs for Boz from me and the UK thanks man yeah that was very nice I might take that home thank you dude um, there you just put it over here we'll put it with the, the other stuff down. later Thank you guys. Uh, thank you, you for sending that. I think that was Oscar was his name. If you want to send us something, guys, send it to PO Box two five six Tagum, Queensland four zero one eight. Australia. And we open everything live on the podcast, no matter what it is. All right. So yeah. just send in some shit, all right. And if it's edible, I may put it in my mouth. Maybe. If it's not edible, I might put it in my he's mouth. He's put petrified shit in his mouth and he's put real chili shit in his mouth. There's not much you won't put in his mouth. Is there any questions? It's probably bad that we say that because I'm going to get some weird shit sent to me and you guys are going like to pressure me to someone put Someone sent, you know what? I would love if someone sent their foreskin. Nobody's going to send their foreskin well, people, in. People might still have their foreskin. Do you even get to keep your foreskin if you get it cut off? Well, yeah, well you, you probably get, don't ask cord. for it. Yeah, you can have an umbilical cord. People probably don't ask for it. It would be a cool thing uh, to have. If you're an adult and you get a circumcision, send us your foreskin in. I'd love to see. Yeah, I'd like really. That's one thing that we haven't had before. A, a it's nice going to be so tough. I just, it's the odds of someone actually getting a circumcision in an adult age where there'll be fleshy bits left. It's going to be so hard. It probably going to be quite small when it's dried out, but still, it'd be nice to see in your mouth. Michael looks like he's a bit lost in this conversation. I just thought of something. What's up? Okay, it's a, it's a riddle. It's a Michael's riddle. Okay, mm. what is, what feels good but looks shit. What? A uterus. <laughs> what looks good, but eats shit. No, but looks shit. What feels good, but looks shit. A, a uterus. Yeah. <laughs> I saw like someone had their removed the other day and it just looks shit. They had their uterus good. removed. Yeah. Oh, you mean like feels good to fuck one? <laughs> <laughs> Is it the uterus that you're fucking? I don't know. Isn't don't it something? So. Oh. Uterus is in there, isn't it? Well, that's what I mean. It, I haven't mastered it. I just thought of it. That's what I was thinking of when you were like, what are you thinking of, Michael? That was what I was thinking of. Is everything okay? I'd, like for you, personally? No, I've got a cold sore and battling mass mental issues, but yeah, I'm pretty good. So no oral sex for you? I had my um, first Coca-Cola today. Ever? In probably about a year. Was it no sugar or was it sugar? Vanilla. It's sugar. even worse. So yeah, shit's going wrong. What made you me. go there? I don't know. Something. I'm just fucked up, man. I feel. I see. Yeah, you didn't I sleep feel. that second night. Did you go home and just sleep? No, I tried. Uh, I went home and just passed out for like till like six p.m. I had like even though micro I got some sleep. It was just like sleep here, sleep there, and then I'm just sort of like lying there, like yeah, fucked, man. Oh. 
I did see like the cameras go off at like five in the morning when the sun was up and you were walking around with your raincoat on. <laughs> I don't know what you were doing. I had a raincoat on? A yellow raincoat. What? On the first night or the second night? Second night. I don't remember putting the raincoat on. Mm. I don't remember a lot of things. To be yeah. yeah, a lot of wild things happened that night. Nothing got broken though too bad, which is nice. No, we were, we were smart. Actually, I don't know whose idea it was. James. But, yeah, to, to buy him some breakables. Yeah. Um, <laughs> although, uh, although I think night one, the... the the windows on the doors came very close to shattering. Oh yeah, I have visions of just kicking it and yeah. seeing what would happen. Just oh, and I hit the back of the van with a baseball once. Or the yeah, van. but we stopped you in time, I think, before oh, really? is there a din in the van. Yeah, I wanted to start on the van next. <laughs> oh, yeah. dude. and it came close too. Like some, like a few people oh. started picking up projectiles. Our only possession. Yeah, <laughs> Our only asset. It was nearly destroyed. And I didn't think you could destroy the prop car anymore. More than what you destroyed it on the other bucks, but yeah, you well, did. Well, you, now I know for sure that it's properly broken. Yeah, now it's definitely not repairable. Like, right, fuck it, let's just. You're definitely it. trying to get it fixed. Still, I already tried. So yeah, it's literally we have fucked. But it won't start. The no, like we fucked the alignment on the wheels will not go. The wheels won't go on anymore because you guys said take them off. And when I went to drive it, it fucked the whole system. But surely we'd be able to pay to get that realigned. Yeah, I'm probably. Gonna, I'm going like to put it out there. A lot of money. I'm going to put it out there that it's going to be more money to fix it than it is to buy a, a car at the same yeah amount and level. I think now, especially if we wanted to, it's just there's too many little things. Let's like we should do like a video, like really just turn it from that and really do it up and turn it up into a souped up like V8 supercar. Yeah. yeah, maybe we can get spend like like fifty grand on it. <laughs> get it Scott like Scott McChrystal into, and he can burn it around on a. And then we can track. do like a before and after photo, and everyone will be like, oh, "That's pretty cool." And we'll get in there, and we'll call the we'll call the show "Pimp My Ride." Whoa! How does it, or ride my pimp, or MTV? Because ride my pimp, then it's like different, and and then like um. I can be like the pimp and Michael's riding me the whole time yeah. as we host the show. Wow. Yeah. R ride wow. my pimp. Wow. Yeah. See how funny we're being today, guys? Wow. This is our peak quality. Oh, I'm sorry. I know a lot of you people rely on us to make you laugh and kind of forget about your own <sighs> worries in life for an hour or in a bit every week. But I just, I just, yeah. Everything's shit. Everything shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a rough one. Eh? Hopefully, this doesn't last for <laughs> too long. <laughs> so lucky that there's a break this week. Yeah, oh, a much needed holiday. Oh, but anyway, let's just. Um, I also think people who watch this understand as well. Yeah, it's just like. From what I've read, what people write, and from what I hear, yeah, people keep. If you find these little Bosley videos, just keep sending them through because I'm just putting them all in a big folder. And it's just nice to go through because there's so much shit, like funny stories and shit I've forgotten about. So just keep sending them through, and um, yeah, fuck me. Yeah, somebody sent me a bunch of podcast moments with him. That was pretty yeah, cool. I got that one where we all, where we all get really excited and he's like going crazy. Yeah. Beautiful, oh. beautiful moment. He used to be just so such a happy dog. All I'd have to do was just like a kissy sound or something, and then he'd start immediately wagging his tail. His whole ass would shake. Yeah, if we, if we came home, he was just so overjoyed. <laughs> and it was contagious. Every single time I would get just as overjoyed. <laughs> he always goes through your legs. Yeah. Yeah, was that a thing from birth where he would always be between your legs? Yeah, he used to be really scared as a puppy. So whenever he got scared, he'd just run and stand in between my legs and just bark at whatever was scaring him. So then it was turned into like a comfort thing. And then he just always just stood in between my legs. Mm. And he'd follow me to the toilet and like sit out, sit out of the toilet. And I Googled it one day. I was like, well, like, why does he do that? And apparently it's like a protection thing, like when another dog in your, the pack is pissing or shitting they'll, the other dogs will like keep an eye on them because they're out of, in a vulnerable state I also yeah, noticed with you. Boz he when I took care of him on a few times I'd let him sleep on the bed and he would get up in the middle of the night walk out I thought he wanted to go to the toilet but um, even once I let him out he did it a few times where he'd go out and he'd walk 
it's like he walked the house and like checked the perimeter almost. Yeah. And he'd come back. It's like he was checking to make sure everything was okay. Yeah, he always walked around a bit at night and would sleep in different spots. But he'd always come back to bed. Yeah. Fuck. <clears throat> anyway, um, what are we talking about again? Is there, um, maybe... Just wish I was there when he died, you know. That's my biggest regret is because I don't let you go back there while they're working on him. Mm. And he just would have been so scared. Oh, man. But it sounds like it must have happened pretty quickly if you went from you giving it to him. It's not like, you know, yeah, it was you're much, away from him for ages. It was much worse than the first time. He was completely limp in my arms. So fucking heavy. Anyway, um, so yeah, guys, that's uh, so we're on holidays now, so um, we're just gonna have a few days off, and we'll be back next Monday and hopefully have a bit more pep in our step. Mm. Really sorry that this is not our regular podcast, guys. Let us know in the comments if next time you just prefer us to just not post, but we'd already, we've already had like missed two weeks, so I was like. Let's just get one out, you know. Just keep you guys in the loop. <clears throat> yeah, I guess it's yeah. It's so yeah, we'll be back next week, guys, and um, we're definitely not the best. Definitely not the best today. So we're the worst. We're the, we're the worst. worst. Don't forget to give us a really good review from this episode. We're fucking shit. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our live show to uh, hear, to hear more of these banger episodes. Uh, and um, take care of yourselves out there, everyone, and go and give your dog a big, big hug for me. And yeah, anyone that you love. If you don't have a dog, just go hold them. Tr- and if you're like thinking about if you're thinking about getting a dog, my my advice would be to don't ever do it. Yeah. Get a cat. Just don't do it. Anyway, goodbye, everyone. This is the last time you'll ever see us. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we can't say. <laughs> oh, my God.